Hello, hello, my friends. So it has been a while, but I'm going to be playing a game offline on stream. I'm This is right before work, but I've never played this set. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I think the safest route here is honestly probably just Champion Delivery, because I could play Prismatic Prelude, but it's probably a little bit too swingy at that point, just because I literally have no idea what's going on with this set. I have... Uh, I haven't looked into it at all. That's okay. I guess we're doing Prismatic Prelude. That's okay. We are playing Ranked because I hate myself, apparently. Uh, so we have Chrono. Chrono begins 16 second countdown, speeds up by one second every Chrono cast. At the end of the countdown, uh, gain a special effect. So restores health and then gain more AP. Okay, so it's... It's not quite the same as, as it was before. Actually, quite different from what it was before. We have a lot of fairies here. I assume that that's probably a reroll comp because of how many I'm seeing. No, that's just a vertical. Okay. Bastion, we have Namzi, which is a one cost, really. What range is Namzi? Four? Okay. Hunter gives increased AD. And then increases on the first time they take they get a takedown. Okay. Got it. Witchcraft. Uh, Honeymancy? I mean, that'd be kind of funny, right? We could try Portal. We could try Witchcraft. What does Witchcraft do? Apply a Curse. And then Bastion is what? Just gain more armor and MR. Alright, so we have two Witchcraft. Apply a Curse to enemies for four seconds. When a Cursed enemy dies, the Curse spreads. Okay, cursed enemies become smaller, and then they lose HP. Gotcha. So we have two witchcrafts there. We have lucky gloves. Honestly, lucky gloves is probably going to be the best thing here for me. I do already have a glove, and then I can kind of just adapt as we go. I can focus on building my team rather than focusing on building items because if I only go for the gloves then I should be better off with with learning a little bit pumping up could have been okay hard commit gain a random emblem <laughs> now and after each carousel gain a one-star champion of that trait with a cost equal to the stage plus one I mean that would be kind of fun right hard commit shapeshifter emblem what does shapeshifter even do shapeshifter gain max health after their ability cast I'm going to say Lucky Gloves. I'm going to say Lucky Gloves. Okay. Oh, I didn't even get my my, sh my stuff. Can a temporary magnetic remover and reforger for one round. Now, charms... You can only see a charm if you don't already own one. Charms do not appear in rounds versus monsters. Okay. I don't think I want Seraphine here. I think I want to kind of go more into Witchcraft. Witchcraft and maybe Shapeshifters. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's try Witchcraft and Shapeshifters. We'll see how that goes. We can try Scholars, too. Scholars are probably, yeah, gain bonus mana on attack. Okay, so Scholars are... Uh, they are... What was I going to say? They don't care about anybody else they're selfish in this set all right so we have poppy as two star we should probably give her a lucky gloves wow that's that's gonna be really really good then we have vanguard his blitz crank he just gains a shield do we need nico uh nico did more damage than zoe zoe reduces magic resist but i think that it's probably gonna be best to oh that's not bastion that's vanguard Okay, all right. But it's okay. I mean, this poppy should should absolutely carry. This poppy should absolutely carry. So what does poppy do? Gain a shield and then wallop. Okay, so it's just shield and damage. And it scales with AD for damage and AP for shielding. Okay. Should be pretty easy. So Bastion, Shapeshifter. I think that Shapeshifter would be kind of cool. Briar's a shapeshifter, and then Morgana's a witchcraft. 
Okay, what witchcraft can we really find at this point? We can find Cass. Sure. Let's get rid of Blitzcrank. We don't need him. And then we can do... Shapeshifter, I guess. She's one hex. Sure. Sounds good to me. Uh, probably, honestly, just like solo frontline the poppy at the at this point. Because if she's got that much HP, I mean, we're we're probably we're probably cooking. Honeymancers gain bees that deal magic damage to their target every three seconds. Each bee deals 7.5% of the Honeymancer's damage dealt and 2.5% of the damage taken. Okay. So they deal extra damage based on just their stats in general. Whether you're tanking, whether you're... Okay. When a Honeymancer dies, leave one bee that follows nearby Honeymancers for the rest of combat. Cool. Cool. Alright, let's see if I can find a Bastion here. Actually, I don't I probably don't need a Bastion, but what is that's Fairy Bastion with Lilia. And then that's Pyro Bastion with Shen. Uh, any witchcrafts? No witchcrafts, but we do have a Bastion here. We could try that out. Actually, we should probably be going for the glove, right? Yeah, let's go for the glove for the lucky gloves. Non-combat, a one-cost champ you have transforms into a two-cost? Like its stats increase? I mean, that sounds neat. I'll, honestly, I should probably push this win streak. Uh, is mage a... Mage... So, no, it's, it's, it's not mage. But uh, portal is... Oh, three. Eh. Let's try just plopping this out here honestly that's a vanguard not a bastion oh my god i keep i keep forgetting about that let's try this charm uh, and then let's put this on galio because i'm gonna get rid of him anyway the sunfire is gonna be huge here that's a three star ziggs is that build a bud that is build a bud that makes sense i think we'll be fine though he hasn't itemized his ziggs yeah, and it's just it's it's just toss a bomb, right? Bomb explodes on the first enemy hit, dealing magic damage, and then yeah, splash damage to everybody else. Got it. Got it. Got it. We do have another portal in here if we wanted to use the Cassidy. Now, what does portal do? Do we have a Bastion? We do have a Bastion. Let's take let's take Nunu. Let's just plop in the Bastion real quick. No, wait, what? Oh, it literally turns into a two cost. I thought that, okay, that makes so much more sense. That makes so much more sense. Well, now I'm, now I'm just like way worse off. <laughs> now I should probably go into blaster a little bit, right? Or fairy. I don't know why I expected it to work that way. Why did I expect it to work that way? Now I'm going to die because I because I took that charm. Maybe? Unless Tristana just pops off, which is possible. No, this Neela's... Oh, no, maybe? What does Ash do? Wait, maybe? Rageblade is broken? Rageblade is still broken, y'all. Understood. Rageblade is still broken. All right, so fairy does what? Fairies gain health and create special items that become stronger with the trait tiers. Okay. Uh, but I don't think that fairy is going to be a good thing for me here because... Because we are... Because we have lucky gloves, right? So if we have special items that we need to equip, then we're not going to have nearly as many item slots. Uh, is Zoe a good user of... Probably. She's probably a good user of, of the other thing. 
All right, so what's portal? Portal champion shield for 15 seconds, gain two shop rerolls. Okay. Sure. Sure. Arcana Scholar Witchcraft Bastion. That's a Vanguard. I don't have I do have a fairy bastion. Why don't we do this? Let's let's get let's get witchcraft back. Let's sell this. Then let's put in a fairy bastion here instead of a shapeshifter. We can kind of see what's going on here. We can kind of see what's going on here. Fairy's uh Fairy Queen's crown. They're dealing damage twelve times, gain yeah, okay, let's try this. Oh, you can't put it on a non-fairy champion? Interesting. Alright, let's do Nashers and Shojin on her. Then she's gonna cast every other every other auto. Now is this gonna go away? I mean honestly, like that was just that was just good. Is this charm gonna go away? Potions two oh one. Which which's curse lasts forever. Which abilities also curse the nearest uncursed champion? If all champions are cursed, which is gain twenty percent AD and AP, gain a poppy and a cass. And then mentorship. If an ally starts combat next to a higher cost ally, it gains attack speed and two twenty health. You have my sword. I'm gonna say no on that. Inspiring epitaph is okay. Sterix gauge. No, I'm gonna go potions two oh one. Let's let's go heavy into the witchcraft. Let's go heavy into the witchcraft. Uh, now, Cass. Cass seems interesting. Let's get rid of Tristana. We don't need her. And then let's just get witchcraft four. Healing the lowest health witch. Okay. Then let's just put that on her for right now. All right, we should definitely try to star up our front line here because we're gonna start uh, we're gonna start dying here soon if if we don't. For sure, we are. Come on, Poppy, you can do it. Come on, shield. There we go. Nice shield. That sh that shield should be enough for us to win this fight. And then this is going to end his win streak, which is great. Cool. All right, so let's try to find. So we're we're gonna be going witchcraft six. Witchcraft emblem is craftable, but Fiora and Morgana are our end goals here. Let's do a couple of rolls. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Reveal who your next opponent is. Uh, sure. Gonna be this person. Oh wow. Dragon Shapeshifter? That's pretty cool looking. Okay. But I think I should be okay because Ari isn't itemized. Unless Ari's just crazy. Who's who's doing the damage here? Zillion? How is what is what is Zillion? Zillion does what? Place a bomb on the tar oh, well he he's Chrono, right? So him casting all that often would actually make a lot of sense. Bastion. We could try Tarek here. Durability? What is durability? Is that just damage reduction? I don't know what durability is anymore. Like, what is what does that mean? That's probably damage reduction. Alright, so let's go for... Um, okay, well, never mind. I guess let's just go for the poppy then. Uh, it's still Edge of Night. Okay. Still Edge of Night. Uh, we don't need to push for anything crazy now. We don't need to push for anything crazy. Nico turns into a crab. Uh, do we have any scholars that we could look for? Ari, Bard, Rise, Melio. Okay. Got it. All right. 
Witch Fang, just extra attack damage, or extra damage on hit, rather. We don't need to push levels right now. Get an Ionic Spark, have plus 3 radius, and deal 25% more damage. That's pretty cool. High Voltage seems pretty neat. Now we have... Now Portal... Okay, let's look at Portal if we actually are going to do this. Gain gold equal to the result. Well, I mean, this just seems like a good gamble. Easy. Easy. Alright, I'm looking for Bastions, not for... Let's, all right, let's try the let's try the shapeshifter. He's a four hex. Does he does he transform into melee? He does. He does. All right, so let's pre level, I guess. What does Karma do? She's a four cost. Rift explodes into stardust and heals adjacent. Attach a temporal rift to the target? I'm trying to figure everything out, but it's just like, it's just going so quick. Just going so quick. Alright, so we could throw in another portal champion. Let's do that. Let's see what portal does real quick. Portal champions start... Uh, portal champions shield for 15 seconds. Other uh, objects from other dimensions fly out of a portal every few seconds to help allies and disrupt enemies. The portal becomes 8% stronger for each portal star champion level. Okay, so portal is the reroll. Got it. Portal is the reroll. Got it, got it, got it. Now, does Zoe do enough damage here for me to consider doing a Gunblade? I feel like I should just go for the Burst because I have a decent amount of of damage already. Or of, um, I feel like I have enough, like, tankiness. I should be able to just go for straight damage here with the Rabadons, I think. Yeah, let's go for the Rabadons. And then honestly, like I don't know, I don't know how uh, what's her face builds Morgana builds, but that might be a good that might be a good a good build for her. I mean, I'm chewing through dragon claws, right? So like I sh I should be I should be pretty good here, I think, just because like she also reduces magic resist. This is probably best in slot Zoe, honestly. If I had to guess. Maybe spell crit instead, but other than that, like I think that it's I think it's pretty okay. Yeah, okay. I mean Three Star Ziggs. That Shen. We had two we had two uh, Dragon Claws on there. Portal Crest. Explosive growth. For the next four rounds, gain ten XP. That sounds really good. Instead of balanced budget, that sounds really good. Just give myself the XP. Try to hit level nine since I'm since I have so much uh, HP at the moment. Let's do it. Let's do it. Witches gain twenty five AP. That sounds really good. Let's do that. Let's do that. For sure. Portal blaster. Uh, do we have a blaster? I don't think we do. I don't think we do, and I don't think we care enough to. All right, so can I? You know what? I want to save some HP. Let's throw one out. Yeah. Blasters gain damage amp, which increases for three seconds after casting their ability. Okay. Gotcha. He has true. He has a. Uh, True shot barrage. And then reduces damage. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh wow, the rage blade on on cast seems really, really good. I just wish that it that she was higher star level, you know. Uh 
Uh, we're looking for bastions, not vanguards. Wukong is just a druid. Every is a Wukong does not have a trait bonus, but instead gains powerful abilities and increased stats. So he's a threat. Well, let's toss him in instead of this guy. And let's see what we can do with that. Hui's a frost blaster, uh, and then this guy's Arcana Vanguard. Okay. We're on a straight shot to level 9 is what we're trying to do here. Cassidan deals magic damage to the target and gains a th shield for 3 seconds. For the rest of combat, he then has stacking uh, magic damage. Okay, that seems really good with, if you can get like a sniper's focus on him. You know what I mean? Is Ari AoE? Kind of? Kind of? A little bit. Uh, do I have Elise on my team? Ooh, Morgana. If I can get that, that'd be huge. I don't think so. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. What does she do, though? Gain a shield. She's two hex range. They seek out enemies, so she's she's got seeking missiles, I guess. All right, let's just get let's just take this. Let's just take this. Worst case, that can be a steadfast heart. Best case, it can be a um. A thieves gloves. We need better tanks though. We definitely need better tanks. Uh Nico. Nico is an okay tank. Over the duration, regain health and release scuttle blasts at three nearby allies and three nearby enemies. Allies are hit healed for one hundred and then hit Enemies take damage and are stunned. Okay. Got it. Let's get rid of Ezreal, because we don't really need that. Yeah, we don't really need that. We don't need the Huey. That guy's got three-star zillion. That's spooky as shit. We don't need this Elise. We need some, we need some better Bastions, you know? We need, like, a Taric or a Diana. Sheesh. What do you, what was that? That was Rise? Open portals that deal... Oh, he's he's Zon Rise. And it scales with his attack speed. But it's probably, like, too high of, a, of, of an amount right now for him to care. Nami is Eldritch Mage. We have Cass here. Gain a dummy for one round. Your dummies drop gold as they take damage. Uh, sure. Sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know if the, I don't know if this is gonna actually pay out or not, but sure. All right, so we're gonna full loss streak into the in, into the Raptors, I think. And then after Raptors, I think we'll be we'll be okay to to, to try uh, to to push for more. Because who are we looking for? We're looking for Fiora. All right, so Fiora is this one, and we're looking for Taric. Uh, we're looking for Morgana, Diana. Briar, I think. I think those are what we're looking for. Because Briar could just be a good shapeshifter th to throw in, I think. Oh, wow. The dummies actually did quite well there. Um, Probably would have been worth to, like, swap out, if I had to guess. But can't really swap out when you don't know what you're doing yet. All right, so we're level nine. Roll once. Briar is probably good here. Uh, Briar is light snack. Use this on Briar to grant her 150 in exchange for three of your player health. What? That's crazy. You just you just give her your HP. <laughs> That's crazy looking. Is there any way to heal player health, then? Gain a Voidling for one round? Um, I'm gonna say no. Actually, I should have probably actually taken that Swain. Maybe we go into the Shapeshifter, then. How does she want to be built? Attack Fighter. Um... Uh, 
probably should have I probably should have thrown in the other the other dude. Let's try this. Edge of night and an infinity edge. Give her a fourth one too. Maybe I should have given her lucky gloves though. Maybe swap out the Cassiopeia. Just go for more more shapeshifters. Okay, there's Morgana. So we can swap this out here. Uh, do we want to do... You know what? Let's do let's do Thieves' Gloves on Morgana. We don't need to do that for Shapeshifters now. We now have a... This is this guy's one hex. Uh, let's give Briar a little bit of HP because we're on one life anyway. Let's just level to 10. See what we can find. Xerath, I don't know what that does. But I guess we're going to do that. Melio probably would have been a good pickup. Portal Bastion. All right, so that's that guy's that guy's good too. Is Briar dead? No, Briar's still alive. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Yeah. I mean it was it was looking okay, but I just it's until you know what to do in the late game, it's like what are you what are you even supposed to do? Interesting interesting uh set though so far. I think that it's gonna be interesting to try to learn it. I didn't play any PBE this time, so I am a little unprepared, so I'm I'm surprised that I was win streaking so like for so long for so uh like in the early game. But but yeah, um, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. By the way, anybody that has been like watching on this channel and you know they wanted a little bit more, I do have my other channel that is linked in the description as well. I have been doing a lot over there, like a lot. I've been playing a lot of Zelda. I've been playing a lot of escape rooms. I've been uh, st still streaming a lot. So check out the Twitch and uh, maybe I'll play a little bit more TFT. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting set for sure, though, so I'll see you next time.